Monopoly, a traditional family orientated board game, what most of you have probably played or most of you at least know about. But honestly, don't ask me why I decided to make this in Planet Zoo and then turn it into a habitat, I really don't know. Sometimes I come up with wacky, crazy ideas. I actually came up and started creating this idea while doing a charity live stream over on Twitch where I was part of a team to help raise money for Kango Wildlife Ranch and if you're not seeing me putting on lipstick then here's a little clip and a little video what should explain everything what I've put together. Enjoy and I'll see you in a minute. You do, do you pucker up like that? What do you do? Right. Is that on? Do I colour it in? It's gone in. So yeah, during this stream I actually came up with the idea for this creation. And if you want to watch me live and see what else I can create, or you want the opportunity to see me do silly things like you just saw then, then twitch.tv forward slash Adam Ups. The link is in the description below. Now let me show you the process and me actually creating this. And this is how we started, plain blank green canvas, where I started to create the actual go sign. You know, the go, pass go, collect 200 pounds. Is it pounds, monopoly money, whatever you want to call it. And we did that just by using simple plaster pieces. Kept it on the grid, pretty much everything for the board is on the grid, it was the easiest way to do it. And once that was complete, this is how it looked. So again, used the plaster pieces for the actual square and then the shapes to design the go and the arrow. And then it was time to make the actual um, the actual cards, the, where you land, where um, your figurine lands. So the first one I created, I think it was Old Kent Road, you know the rubbish brown one just after go. Um, so I created that again with the plaster pieces, turning the top ones to the brown, and then just created a little trim around it using the on-grid um, roof trims. And then with the writing, I just used the simple 2D writing, which is really good, pretty much really versatile and really good for anything. And as you can see, it's Old Kent Road. And then we needed houses and hotels. Of course we did. So I ended up building this little greenhouse and a bigger red hotel house by using the, um, the art shapes. Quite basic, but effective. And that's how the board came out looking once all the pieces was in place. And comment down below, do you buy and purchase the brown ones, the old Kent Road, the rubbish ones? Because if I'm landing on them, I'm not purchasing them. But do you purchase them? Comment down below. And then once everything was in place, it was time to move on to the actual icons, like the train station and the community chest. But this train for one of the train stations was actually 111 pieces on its own. But I did it, I copied it over, and duplicated it to the other sides and here we are really this is me in real time and I'm just going to show you basically everything I've added and, and explain to you how I did certain things and kind of like my thought process behind some of the things as well we left off where I showed you the um, the actual train from the train station which like I said it was 111 pieces the community chest 300 and odd pieces the, the chance was like 200 odd pieces just for the question marks so yeah it was a lot of effort so I didn't want to you know show me creating loads of different pieces all these was done with art shapes same with exactly the same with the free parking car all done with art shapes and you can see how a guest our in they can walk around the board but they can't walk inside of the board where I've created this city kind of I said I created, but if I show you quickly, you'll see a lot of these things might look very familiar. And that's because most of them, spoiler alert, are actually blueprints off the workshop. And the reason for this is because this build would have took me absolute, probably months upon months to create if I was to do it all by hand and not include any blueprints. And I mean, 
I can credit a, a couple of people, I suppose. I mean, I know this ice cream van here is from Paul's there. Most of you probably know Paul's there, as well as the disabled signs and this boy in the water is also from Paul's there. What is mine is this little area here, this little water feature, as well as this hotel. This is mine. I created this myself. Um, this whole build is going to be on the workshop, but I'm going to have to put it as a zoo file because unfortunately it is way too many pieces and I mean way too many pieces to be able to do as blueprints or multiple blueprints. So it will be on my workshop. The link is down in the description as a zoo file. But yeah, all these are blueprints, everything you see apart from that hotel I just showed you and two other things. So this is mine. I created this um, a while ago actually and this is my Five Guys restaurant included with interior kitchen they get remember the guests can't actually enter the inside it is just for sure it's very gimmicky this build it's not made for purpose and i've actually in here in my central perk some of you may have seen the video of me creating this but again this is my creation it is on the workshop if you like it i've hidden inside if we go in the actual <laughs> the actual spawn point and the um the zoo gate so our guests come out of here they come across here, they go across the road, and then the only place they are allowed is all the way around the outside of the board. And it wouldn't be Planet Zoo without including a habitat somehow. And the only habitat I was able to create and still make it look um, functional and make it look how I want it to look in my head <laughs> is um, this habitat with the water. And this is a seal habitat. Let's see if I can find one. Here we go. So there's one swimming about looks quite happy and in here I've actually hidden some of the requirements to be able to for the habitat and the animals to actually function which is the staff requirements we've got a staff room and a keeper's hut hidden in there if you do download this for yourself you can also add add stuff in and you can just run path under the roads I've created here obviously the roads and everything is myself but that's quite easy to design um, we've got cars as well to make everything look like an actual city and more realistic. These skyscrapers and these apartment blocks are absolutely amazing. I will credit the creator of the from the workshop in my description below if you want to go and download these for yourself and go and send some love the way. And then the aqueducts, would you call them aqueducts? Like the piping is obviously this is, I had to create all this myself so I couldn't get away with nicking this from the, um, the workshop. Um, boats workshop again everything seems to come together really well let me know what you think of this actual creation and the idea behind the creation in the description below my name's adam i hope you have a wonderful day and i will catch you in the next one